This is question set number two on decimal fractions. What is the answer of this question? Well, it's an easy one. Okay, so we have been given 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 and plus 0 0.01. And remember, this is a multiplication. It is divided by, actually it is uh, raised to minus 1. So if anything is raised to minus 1, it is actually the reciprocal. So divided by 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 plus 0 0.02. It is equal to 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 is 0 0.04 plus 0 0.01 upon 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 is 0 0.01 plus 0 0.02, which is again equal to 0 0.04 plus 0 0.01 is 0 0.05 upon 0 0.03. 1 plus 2 is 3, which is equal to 5 by 3. I can ignore the decimal point. And that's the answer. 5 by 3. Let's move on to the second question. What could be the answer? Well, if you look at it carefully, it looks something similar to a formula you know. And that formula is a square minus b square. And it comes out as a plus b into a minus b. So we can uh, use this formula in this question. So 2.39, 2.39 whole square minus 1.61 whole square upon 0 0.78. It can be written as using this formula 2.39 plus 1.61 into 2.39 minus 1.61 divided by 0 0.78. Now 2.39 plus 1.61 is 9 plus 1 is 10, 1 is carry, 3 plus 6 is 9, plus 1 is 10, again 1 is carry, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So 4.00 into 2.39 minus 1.61, 9 minus 1 is 8, 3 minus 6, that is 13 minus 6 is 7, this becomes 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So 0 0.78 divided by 0 0.78. This gets cancelled out and the answer is 4.00. And option B is the correct answer. Okay, let's solve the third question now. So 0 0.96 cube minus 0 0.1 cube. So we have A cube minus B cube. A cube minus B cube. And it is equal to A minus B multiplied by a square plus ab plus b square. So this formula is needed in this question. So 0 0.96 cube minus 0 0.1 cube can be written as 0 0.96 minus 0 0.1 into a square plus ab plus b square. So 0 0.96 square plus 0 0.96 into 0 0.1. So it is multiplied by 0 0.1. So we can shift the decimal point 1 to the left. So it is 0 0.096 plus 0 0.1 square divided by, again we have 0 0.96 square plus 0 0.096 plus 0 0.1 square. And these two terms are same. So we can cancel out. And it comes out as 0 0.96 minus 0 0.1. I can put one more zero here so that I have equal number of no, equal number of digits after the decimal point. So 0 0.96 minus 0 0.10 is 0 0.86, and that is our answer. Option C. Question four. Well, this one's real simple. Let's solve it. So we have 3.6 into 0 0.48 into 2.5 divided by a lot of numbers. So we can split them. So we can write 3.6 by 0 0.12 into 0 0.48 upon 0 0.09 multiplied by 2.5 upon 0 0.5 is equal to 3.6, I can put a 0 here so that um, the number of digits after the decimal point 
in the numerator and the denominator are same. So I can write this as 360 divided by 12 into 48 divided by 9 into 25 divided by 5. Let's cancel them out. 12 ones are 12, 12 threes are 36 and this is 0. So 12 times 30 is 360. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 1 is 4. 3 times 6 is 18. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Again, 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 10 is 30. So we have 10 into 16 into 5. In the denominator, everything is 1. That is equal to 16 times 5 is equal to 80. So 10 into 80 which is equal to 800. Okay, now let us end this video with a quite trickier question. Let's solve this. So if you solve this, if you take the cube of this number and, and do all of these operations, you will find it very difficult. So let's make it simple. So 8 is the cube of 2. So I can write 2 cube into 3.75 cube plus I can write 1 as 1 cube upon we have 7.5 square minus 7.5 into 1 plus 1 square. I can write 1 as 1 square and 7.5 times 1 is 7.5. So this can be written as 2 cube into 3.75 cube can be written as 2 into 3.75 whole cube and doesn't change the value plus 1 cube upon the same thing. Okay, now if you solve this 2 into 3.75 is 7.50 whole cube plus 1 cube and now this becomes simple. This is equal to a cube plus b cube is 7.5 plus 1 times a square minus ab plus b square. So 7.5 square minus 7.5 into 1 plus 1 square upon 7.5 square minus 7.5 into 1 plus 1 square. And these gets cancelled out. So this is equal to 7.5 plus 1 which is equal to 8.5.